all right let's look at the interior of the car yes everybody say 99,000 wow 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 only because it's a new thing but when you think about it uh, the size of a Honda Jazz probably yep around this price point should be and of course electric cars by rec should be very expensive just that they are not taxed and par on par pricing we are comparing to petrol cars that are taxed okay keep that in mind okay now the front door bin pretty there's a general theme in the car where you see a lot of all this sort of ocean like kind of wavy stuff which is okay i mean the car's name is called dolphin and uh these are really interesting materials plastic but then the texture felt a bit like jeans okay they're nice to the touch they're hard plastics nevertheless hard plastics nevertheless but i like i said uh china they have a lot of very very interesting new materials coming up from their from them manufacturing stuffs for the entire world okay the fit and finish is good we've seen that in the auto this is leather very nice leather very soft to the touch the stitching is perfect okay there are no sharp edges when it comes to the moldings these are hard plastics as well see they are trying to create a car that is affordable for everybody i do not know why there is a indent over here that looks like a giant compartment i believe people will start putting things there which is not recommended you know but somehow there's like a like a i don't know a beach a beach with waves coming probably Let me see it out there interesting okay there are two aircon vents mounted high up over here uh, i hope they have a key for me to start the car but nevertheless oh this is soft touch but it's the type where the soft touch material wraps over the hard plastics beneath this gloss black yes i know it's gloss black but at least it plays gloss black is bad when it's a flat surface right it's it's nice when it's curvy and all that when you have give it some structure then it will curve the light so it creates some nice pattern of light okay and uh, this is the driver's seats let's try the seats let's try and put some stuffs in the car so you see a perspective that's my wallet very nice I, I can foresee this is one of the most handy compartment you're gonna go up your car and just throw your stuff here you're gonna chuck it there but you can also chuck it here okay let's have a look and then uh, take it away open it you have a deeper compartment down here that's the depth that's how deep it is okay and then uh, you see the ports USB-C USB 12 volt socket nice here is the cup holders wireless charger very nice this is the parking brake all right auto hold oh okay i didn't expect this to be of this if they put a little bit of a a line here then you can see that it wants your finger to anyway does this roll as oh all of them it's not a button oh they're all like that what about this okay oh this one you can press it on off and then you can roll it for volume and then this one is a gear lever okay very nice over here uh, for the speed of your wiper nothing special and then over here the distance control for your adaptive cruise control lane keep assist add speed delete um, and then this one you press this and it will rotate the screen like how the auto does okay this one despite being dolphin you don't have that playful uh, guitar strings and all that and then up here as you can see this is actually a cloth uh, that i believe you can open it for the panoramic roof and then down here get a lovely this is one of the good suppliers exactly the same as my audi rs6 feels the same yep this is a good visor very nice very solid yep that's the front and then over here can i open the center armrest i cannot it is a solid piece 
there's nothing for me to open there but there is a hidden compartment down here which is huge the hidden compartment is big you can use it to hide stuff you know your entire longchamp handbag can be slotted in and you'll be safe from prying eyes okay sitting position wise i think visibility is excellent the extended a pillar the double a pillar with a little window at there so when you sit in the car or oh, see chinese cars let's close the doors again yep japanese cars don't close like that so that's the glass roof on top let's come to the rear seats look at the size of those seats okay see the thing is this when you buy an entry-level mercedes or bmw they don't give you seats like these they really cut costs on their seats but these are proper seats big wide comfortable that's what got me okay now let's look at this i have size 11 and a half feet my shoes are size 11 and a half there is ample room here and uh, i can sort of slot my feet underneath sort of okay and then here we get compartments compartments and po big pockets this material is nice i know it's just a you know zipper wrap on kind but it's it's nice it's nice okay here you have a cup holder and then you have usb ports this again is the same material as the door the molding and all that it's hard plastic but it's nice when it's done like that okay it's okay there are sharp edges over here this is where the molding points this is one piece this is another piece and then you can feel the edges all right there's no choice now i like the angle of the rear seats the recline angle of the rear seats look at that it's a it's pretty recline angle let me show you i'm gonna turn you guys around all right it is a pretty recline angle as you can see and it's comfortable and the headrest the headrest is soft it's soft it's so nice i don't know i mean this is of course anti-whiplash design right but it's soft and nice it is not so so hard so let me close the door listen to it again oh lovely again Whoa. All right. <clears throat> really man German car makers don't do the cut cost stuff anymore all right the doors are more solid feeling than the A class in, in fact that I don't know how to say this ah all right that is very nice of course now you have all sorts of patterns and all that the, the tail lamps you have the oh they put a coffee machine at the back okay the boot is not big okay why they put this here i want to see what's underneath this is expected uh struts all right all right let's go see the other car that they didn't put stuffs behind so we can see how deep the, the insides are check out this one do they put stuffs here no okay okay you get a very deep uh hidden storage below and this is pretty deep yeah it's like more than half a feet almost half a feet okay it's pretty deep and it's a false floor if you remove this right you can slot this thing underneath okay this one has soundproofing qualities as well. Oh. Alright, then you can remove this strap to remove this and hide it inside when you need to load stuff. Okay. Now when it comes to releasing the, the seat back, let's check out the seat backs. Hey Lavan. There is a lever over here you drop and it's flat it's absolute flat so if you drop both sides it's gonna be really flat that's nice okay 
I've seen a, a video from China, one guy drops it like that, put a mattress in. Pretty interesting. Proper. Proper material quality, okay? Yep. The whole car feels very well built. I'm not, not joking. Yeah. That's what they do now, right? So, yep, that's the BYD Dolphin. I'll go for a test drive later. And uh, that's the screen. And this is turned on. And let me show you guys. Right, look at that. So, yeah, man, these guys are not joking they're here to slaughter the market uh, this is the high range version 124,900. it you have an option of having dual tone plate paint okay and uh yeah this kind of price this kind of size it's a very practical size it's by no means a huge car where you can go to kia and pick up three of your friends flying back from overseas you know and with huge luggage and all that uh no if you carry big luggages you still need to drop the rear seats all right so let's go for the drive